What is up everybody, my name is Cap, and today Mojang pushed out a new snapshot for Minecraft integrating Twitch streaming functionality. So you'll be able to stream straight to Twitch with a one button click, and I kind of wanted to show you guys what it looks like and how to do it and some of the features. Now it's just a snapshot, so there could be some bugs, could be some problems here and there. You know, if y'all run into any problems during this, you can leave it in the comments, I'll try and help you out. But keep in mind, it's just a snapshot, so you have to manually download it, it won't just automatically download in the launcher. So I'll walk you through some of the settings here. Okay, so if you head on into the options, you'll now see that on the right side, there's a button called Broadcaster Settings. You go inside here, and this will show you where all the little settings are actually at for bro uh, broadcasting to Twitch. You can control the quality, the frame rate, you can adjust the bandwidth. Uh, metadata is not really being used right now, it's for future features, but you can see different mic volumes you can change. Um, it's got built-in Twitch chat settings. You can go in here and set your preferred server, so pick out the one that's closest to you that'll give you the best possible connection when you're actually streaming. Now, I'll show you some of the chat stuff here in just a minute, but that's basically it as far as your settings for it, for now anyway. Now, if you uh, head back out and go to your options down there, you can see down at the very bottom they've put in a couple different things. You know, these are the defaults here F6 to start and stop the stream, F7 if you want to pause it. And if you have partnership and want to do commercials and stuff, then you can toggle that on and off too. But that's right now, that's the only controls you have, just start and stop basically. Now once you're in game and you start streaming, you'll see the red little light up in the top right hand corner and the number underneath it is how many different viewers you have. I have one for now, just doing testing of course. And anytime any of the users in the stream actually start sending you messages through the chat, it'll pop up in game just like that and tell you who it actually is. It'll tell you Twitch just sent you a message basically there. Now you can't respond via the um, text message here, you actually have to go to the website to do text. But you can just talk to them if you're using your mic settings. They did include some basic functionality here, so if you have somebody in your chat um, that's being disruptive or somebody that's actually just being helpful, and once they send the message, you can actually open up the thing there, click on their name, and you'll have the options to promote them to manager, or not manager, moderator, time them out, ban them, demote them, all that other stuff. So you can kind of control that from in-game and have to go back and forth if you got the nasty chatters out there. Now first things first, before you can start streaming and connecting your account in Minecraft to Twitch, you have to be able to convert your Minecraft account to a Mojang account if you haven't done it already. And all you have to do is just go and log into Minecraft website like you normally do, and there will be an option there to convert to a Mo uh, Mojang account. And once you do that and you're all set up and good to go, then all you have to do is you go into your My Account and you'll see uh, underneath your email address there, there will be a button that says View Account Settings. So you go inside that. And you'll see the new option down there to connect to Twitch account. Um, I have everything else blocked out, of course, because I don't want you to see it. But uh, all you have to do is just click the little button there, and it'll take you to the next page. This will bring up the page asking you if you want to authorize Mojang to use your Twitch account. Just log in with your username and password and click log in. And then after you're logged in, just click the authorize button, and it'll redirect you back to your Mojang page, where you can see right here that now it says you're all connected and good to go. And that's all there is to it, and you're ready to start streaming. This is going to be pretty cool. I hope maybe I can start doing a lot more streaming with this, keep you from having to try and use XSplit or OBS or any of that other stuff to try and get it. Just one button, click, you're streaming, good to go. Um, I haven't tested as far as like audio quality goes, so we'll see how that works out. But anyway, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Just leave them in the comments below. Hope you guys have a good one, and I'll talk to you later.